Hi guys, welcome to our life in the Philippines. Um, I'm just gonna uh, give a quick review, a uh, few minutes. I bought a camera about two months ago, um, maybe one and a half. Um, and it's an off brand, China brand. Um, and uh, they claimed that the camera would do 4K. Uh, however, I don't shoot in 4K. Uh, since I'm doing strictly doing YouTube videos, I think 1080p at 60 frames per second is more than enough. And in most cases, when I when I edit and and output it, I I put I put out 720p at 30 frames per second. Uh, especially in my market, uh, most people uh, most people cannot uh, even stream. 1080p or 4k for sure not and 2k for sure not um, in uh, here in Philippines um, and I think the quality is good enough uh, when it comes to 720p for, for YouTube for YouTube uh, uh, blogging channel that's just my opinion uh, for whatever it's worth the camera is an Andover 4k uh, very compact comes with a wide-angle lens and an external microphone. Uh, one of the things I like with this camera is actually that the microphone here um, seems to be working fairly well. Uh, it has um, uh, settings uh, when it comes to the sound and input to the camera. You can regulate the audio uh, 20 dB, 0 dB, minus 10 dB. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of these cheaper cameras has a problem with with clipping in the sound. Um, audio is way too sensitive. But this camera does. This microphone on this camera does have the ability to adjust that downward so so you can avoid clipping in it, and uh, that's good. The other thing I like with it, it's it's the fact that it has a screen and um, the screen is fully flip flippable. You can flip it. Um, totally around and um, you know set it on a tripod and if you do some shot, live shots and you need to be in front of the camera you can see what's going on so that's that's a good thing um, one of the things that I do not like about the camera is the fact that the camera is extremely sensitive to light if there is not enough light uh, this lens and this camera for some reason will not output a good picture. It gets grainy, it's like, uh, it, it's not out of focus but it's grainy and, and uh, obviously uh, I don't like that at all. Uh, that could be probably corrected with a good light in, inside if you have LEDs and you know 4K, 6K, whatever lights it's probably be okay. So I use it strictly for outdoors. There, the camera works perfect, and, and uh, uh, I enjoy it outdoors with, with, <clears throat> with what I do. Uh, some statistics about the camera. Um, they say it does 4K, uh, and it does 4K at 24 frames per second. So it's not really, on the upper end of, of, of the 4K. However, it will shoot, um, um, and I'm, I'm having the statistics in front of me here, so it will shoot uh, uh, 1080p at 60 or 30 frames per second, and it will also do 720p at 60 or 30 frames per second. Uh, the photo resolution is fairly good. It's actually 48 megapixels, uh, but it's interpolation. So, so be aware of that. Um, all, all in all, for the price, you cannot go wrong. I think I paid uh, 7,500 pesos, uh, which is roughly about $140, $130, $140 um, for this camera, and it is worth it for outdoor shooting. Later on tomorrow, uh, I will also do a short review. I actually got me a uh, little gimbal for my sport action camera, and I, 
I've been playing with it today and tomorrow I'm going to make a review of it and put a video out. Um, this one, to me, as far as I have played with it today, uh, it's well worth the money. Um, and we're talking $79 or roughly 4,100 Filipino pesos. It's well worth it. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, come on back for a look at, a, a look at this. Um, for now, uh, thank you for watching. And this camera is worth the price if you shoot outdoors, in my opinion. Thank you for watching. God bless.